pogroms of 1881 and 1882, which occurred in waves throughout the southwestern provinces of the Russian Empire, were the first anti-Jewish attacks in the Russian Empire to assume the nature of a mass movement. In the course of more than 250 individual events, millions of rubles worth of Jewish property was destroyed. The total number of fatalities is disputed among historians, but the impact of this massive outbreak of violence on the Jewish population was extreme. Coupled with the worsening of their economic state, the horrors of the pogroms led many Jews to seek a better existence for themselves. Some joined the Zionist movement and fled for Palestine, known also as the Land of Israel, while a very large number, approximately two million, ended up immigrating to the United States. Among the Jews who remained in the Russian Empire, many were attracted to various revolutionary circles in the hopes of bettering the lives of the empire's residents, themselves included. The increased participation of Jews in revolutionary movements had a strong effect on the development of the late 19th century anti-Semitism in Russia. Jews were perceived as a foreign and destabilizing force, accused by counter-revolutionary forces as wanting to bring down the Russian Empire. This accusation was combined with the traditional perceptions of Jews as a worldwide threat, leading to the formulation of anti-Semitic texts such as the Protocols of the Elders of Zion and a renewal of anti-Jewish violence in the early 20th century. Two infamous manifestations of this violence were the 1903 pogroms in Kishinev, where 50 Jews were killed, and the 1905 to 1907 pogroms that followed the failed 1905 revolution. In these latter pogroms, hundreds of Jews were murdered by counter-revolutionary elements in places such as Odessa and Kiev. One of the major anti-Semitic events which took place in the Russian Empire at the time was a blood libel case known as the Bailey's Affair. The affair took place in Kiev between 1911 and 1913, culminating in the trial of a Kievan Jew, Mendel Bailey's, who was accused of having slaughtered a young Christian child for ritual reasons. This uh, blood libel um, case is probably the most notorious case in pre-Holocaust Europe. Um, and um, there was a sensational trial that took place in Kiev, covered by all major newspapers in Europe, in America, the New York Times, uh, throughout Russia. It, um, it, uh, th this case really led to this uh, uh, broke up into uh, Russian society and the Russian public opinion, just like the Dreyfus affair did um, a few decades before in France, uh, meaning that you have the right-wing press that argues very blatantly and systematically that the Jews engage in this ritual and that indeed Mendel Bailey's did carry out this murder. And on the other hand, you have the more liberal, um, um, you know, public voice of Russian writers, uh, for example, Tolstoy, for example, who speak out against this accusation. Um, what is interesting in this case is that, um, first of all, during the trial, um, the, um, the, uh, the prosecutors bring in the voice of respectable professors and religious leaders in order to legitimize the accusation, right, for the public. Um, on the other hand, what is very interesting is that ultimately the verdict of this trial is that um, while Mendel Bailey is acquitted of the crime, but in the verdict of this trial, there is uh, very clearly stated the possibility that the crime was carried out by a religious sect, which then, of course, leaves open the, um, the, the fact that this crime is indeed carried out by Jews regularly, right, because Maybe it wasn't Bailey's himself, but other Jews did it. May, uh, you know, maybe a sect of Jews did it. Maybe Hasidim did it. So it leaves this, um, this, this scenario of possibilities open. And what is so interesting here is that if you look at what happens in the 1920s, 1930s, um, and later, um, the fact that this trial took place will legitimize 
at the popular level, even though Bailey's was found not guilty, but it will legitimize at the, pop, at the popular level um, the idea that Jews carry out uh, uh, the blood uh, libel, that they carry out ritual murder uh, for, um, for the purposes of uh, abusing Christian blood.